one of the Ruckman either. Griffin, Griffin will be in there, but Main and uh, Walters and Ballantyne, they're, they're the three really uh, dangerous runs. And from the Dockers' perspective, fair to say, big difference between three and two and two and three. As we start the second half at Patterson Stadium, Marich pumps it down. Mundy ran into a dead end, found his own football, went back to Hill to five, tackled immediately. Martin slaps it back inside the centre circles. Barlow put the body in. Barlow somehow came up minus the football. Griffin's got it. Find the footy in there. Griffin trying to wrestle. Marich has got hold of him, and the umpire will do it again. So, right back where we started. Four men up there. Grigg won it decisively down to Edwards. Back to Newman. Newman penetrating kick down towards the attacking 50, but Fremantle leading the race from all directions. Dawson gave it across to Spur. That was a clever kick. Barely the 15. Mundy takes the mark. Mundy then close to the line. He kicks towards Ballantyne. He's got the foot in. He's got some space. He looks in field. Long kick down at the back. Walters, he needed to keep his footing, and he just couldn't quite. Rance's handball for Hawley. Good tackle by Walters. They're not out of it yet. Richmond. Bachelor pushing across to Rance. How will the umpire see that? That's Throw it in, he says. Case in point there, Lee. They're just certainly yeah. not looking as short and, uh, with their hands in, uh, deep in defence at times. I'll tell you what, Hawley wouldn't have been too happy with Grimes. He had that mark and had Walters absolutely spent, but Grimes cannon into him. 5 5 to 2 1 in that second term from the Fremantle Dockers. They. Got their noses in front. Handball out for Mazungu. He throws it onto the boot. Long down towards the first game of Hanneth. Here's Mundy. Tackled well. That was excellent tackle by Pedard. And the clearing kick, a long one. Bouncing ball. It was Bachelor's football. Now Johnson over the footy. Ibbotson did well. Back to Clancy Pierce. Nothing on, so he retreats backwards to Fife. And what? ditto, nothing on here. That was a good tackle by White. Clancy Pierce, they're in trouble here. Fremantle, the weight of numbers tells. Oh, Rebold, he ran into Johnson. They've done everything right. And then the next one, it needed to go long. It's going long from Fife instead. Towards half forward. They meet at the football. And it flies out of bounds. So a boundary Gross. throw in. Clancy Pierce up to 16 possessions. A key component of this Dockers team. On the outer two seasons ago, but Ross Lyon gave Pierce a chance. Sounds like John Lennon. <laughs> in the pack, opportunity there for Barlow. Dug it out brilliantly. Crowley's away. Runs inside the forward 50. A despairing lunge affected the kick. It was Cochin, and the ball has gone out of bounds on the full. That was terrific defensive play by Cochin. Just to keep the pressure on. Here's Grimes. One of two brothers in the competition. Goes for the spiral. Well... It's worked out okay. Knights with a couple of goals alongside his name. Kicks beyond the wing. And a good mark is taken by McFarlane out there. He's playing a super game across halfback. Or the anchor defender, I should say, for uh, Fremantle. Just positions himself perfectly. Oh, yeah, McFarlane mate. to Ibbotson. It's a long kick. Main with a massive fly. He got his hands to it. Couldn't mark. Jackson, well done. Here's Rance cruising by. And the kick for Grigg spot on. Luke McFarlane, he didn't touch the ball in his 200th game a couple of weeks ago on Friday night footy. Of course, the big ruckman for Essendon Ryder collected him and still enjoying the holiday as a result. The Lidio to Pedard. That's a low and flat one for Bachelor inside 50. And the chip kick OK. Hooley, so as yet, no score in this third quarter. Fremantle by two points. Grimes with a footy on halfback. Call to go. He drives towards the wing. Marich was the target. Vickery there as well. DeBoer got hands on it. Well done, Ellis. Handball out. That was brilliant for White, who got his boot to the ball. Bouncing one inside 50. Gathered by Clancy Pierce. He read it well. Looping handball intended for Fife. And White arrived again. Knocked it over. I think it would be disappointing for... Uh for Richmond, Damien Hardwick, is that they, they're forward of the ball players for Richmond. It seems like the Fremantle defenders are rooting those quick kicks yeah. forward better than the forward. After the boundary throw in, sliding in his punch, he's going to be penalised. Not happy with the big fellow, but the big fellow did nothing wrong. Barlow, oh, this will be interesting. <laughs> Improvising, got boot to ball. Griffin, well, strength right there. Jonathan Griffin kicks it up towards the wing. Marriage, though, in the road. Looks back towards the middle. Oh, hasn't got the carry. Intended for Martin. On his knees, Hooley. 
Heard a voice somewhere out there. Charging in as Newman. That's better. Greg. Kick the opening goal. This one off the side of the boot. It wanders along the 50. And what a terrific mark by Revolt. Now and again, Cotchen's this is spectacular. Himself. He's booted a goal. Goes short. Cotchen, though, had to wait. Walters knocked it away. Recovered. Took it on the full and kicks inside the centre square. But Richmond have got the numbers in there, at least initially. Marriage had it. Pettit kicks it off the ground. Straight to Walters. Told to go. Nobody cares. <laughs> Complete indifference from both players. That's the way to treat umpires. He comes out wide and the mark is taken by Griffin. Bizarre, wasn't it? Just a little dance on the spot from Walters. Griffin then, long kick down the wing. Marich is opposite Ruckman. Here's the target. A fist on there from the Tigers. It works out. Three battles way though. Hill runs over the footy. Kick looking for Ballantyne. He waited for it on the bounce. Trapped that beautifully. He's got time to turn around. Main was his target. Too much on it. And Newman just tracking it back. He watches it waltz over the line. It's a free kick there. That's what the rule's for. Valentine could have done better there. Hanneth caught behind. He did all right. Barlow down in front, no gathered by down. Newman. High ball, you heard the call. Edwards needs to go as a result. Now White, defensive 50, looks upfield. Not a lot to kick to. High ball. Johnson, well done, double-fisted. Here's Martin. Runs away from Spur. The lead is on, and Vickery honours that lead. He marks on his chest. You can see the 50, not a lot to kick to. Well, look at this, McGuan all on his own. Somehow he got loose. There was a lot to kick to in the end. Yeah, that was interesting. Both the uh, three metal defenders firstly went to Rewald and uh, McGuan was just able to... And they fell over each other. Have a look in the... In the shot, they, they stumbled <laughs> over each other. That was a comedy of errors, that one. And it was the apologetic hand up from Mick yeah. It really was... Not a great outcome for the Dockers. Two ahead, mate. <laughs> That's why there was something to kick to. It's like comedy capers, wasn't it? McGuan now kicking for his second to make it multiple goals in every Richmond game this year. Not only does he do that, he gets the Tigers back in front. Four points up. Well, gee, goals are hard to come by, aren't they now? It's a matter of who can actually uh, take their take the chance going uh, going forward. Both defences look fairly much on top. It's just the odd goal being scored here and there. So Lukey McGuan, right place, right time. Another lead change. You see that handball from Shane Edwards there, and that's what it's going to take at the moment to get out of this uh, Freo forward press. Elite hands out of trouble, and it created a chance for Richmond to go forward, but their pressure's enormous. They're hunting the ball better, Freo, and they're getting more numbers around the ball at the moment. Good to see Matty White back in the action, too. First game of the season. Meantime, De Boer to Mundy. Floats one inside the forward 50. Rance had it bounce off his chest. Well played by Daniel Pierce. Should have tried to slap it out. Could be in danger here. That ball... Yes, he reeled it back he in. It back in. And he should have slapped it out. Empire Chamberlain just about 15 Hold. metres away. Rance. He's very wide, close to the boundary. Jackson had a good night, had a good season so far. Has it knocked away by Mundy. It'll be tossed in. Inside 50s, dominated by Fremantle in the second term. And the Tigers... Are leading the game despite those figures. Gloucester, Edwards, Deledio towards half forward. Clancy Pierce goes after the football. There's a hard body. Coming up behind him was Marich. Over the shoulder is going to be a free Rebold. kick to Revolt. Well, Cochin forward. Revolt goes looking for Cochin. Lee's voice carries. Ooh, well, yeah, getting there in the nick of time was Spur. No. Yeah, it's what's the Dennis? He, he thought it was going to be the free no, metal free kick, away, and, went, and when he away. sort of started to come up, when it went to Richmond, uh, Cotchen just went the opposite direction, didn't quite get there. Thanks, guys. Push away, please. It's hard to spoil, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, for a, it's just ball or nothing else is the only way you can spoil. So Trent Cotchen eyeing up his first goal of the season. That seems remarkable. Goal is so far, despite so much of his artistry. And that kick is out to the right and he misses. The goal he needed. 
And certainly the team leader. Just been watching him in this uh, first part of the second half. He seems to be labouring. We know his knee's heavily strapped and copped a knock just before half time. I wouldn't be surprised if he spends a fair bit of time forward in the second half. Johnson to Ibbotson. Back to Johnson in the goal square when yeah, he kicks. Yeah, yeah. He goes out wide. He's got a couple of men out there. Here's Clancy Pierce. And that's a good kick for Subin. Richmond by five points. It was the Dockers by two at half time. Subin then with a long one. Barlow up in front should mark. Here is a very good mark overhead. Game number 51. Kicks quickly down towards DeBoer. Ditto. For a man of his size. Excellent grab. Ballantyne spilt it. Edwards. Excellent tackle from behind. Unlucky not to be rewarded there. Bachelor eventually. They worked it out through Vlosten. They've got the numbers. Grimes as well. And now Pettit came in there from Helbig. And the clearing kick towards the wing. Johnson got a hand in there. Gathered by Spur. Back to Johnson. They're still on here, Fremantle. Hill building from outside 50. Long one in the Griffin direction. Not paid the mark. Plays on. Swings it around the body. He's offline. I don't think he, I think he might have been paid the mark, but he actually... Uh played on thinking it would have been that call from the umpire pretty nimble wasn't he yeah he's shown some great agility yeah, since he's come over and uh, been a pivotal part of Fremantle side there's Marky so Griffin hitting the post and about 11 minutes remaining before three quarter time Vickery in dangerous although as Lee said, inclined not to come for the football sometimes. At the back of the pack, Pfeiffer half chance. Bounced across to Marich. He kicks it down towards the attacking 50. Here comes McFarlane. Gets into his move and goes back towards the pocket. Taken by Subin. Now Fremantle players on down the length of the ground if Clancy Pierce can control this football. He'll kick it over the head of the man on the outer side. That's Newman. Finds Walters. Breaking for him is De Boer. Trying to get back and doing brilliantly was Martin. Knocked it to his own advantage. Oh, well done, Dustin Martin. It was all or nothing right there. Got it to Pettit. Pettit kicks the high ball back towards the wing. Hatcheting his way to the front out there. Subin goes on to apply a tackle. Took Ellis down. A little one-two between Pierce and Walters. Walters across the ground and he finds Ibbotson. Ibbotson to Spur. And Spur takes off through the midfield, almost tackled, sends the kick inside the 50. High ball again, Griffin the target, he couldn't mark Hooley, got the footy coming down. Main pushed over as he grabbed it, Rance on top of him, the ball works loose, Mundy. Can he get it out? He does, to Barlow, to Ballantyne, great tackle from behind, it still falls for Crowley. It was Ellis with the tackle, Crowley's kick terrific. Yet another lead change. Fremantle back in front. And their pressure there, terrific. Ryan Crowley is having a terrific season, backing up from that best and fairest last season. And not just a tagger, but of course he can work off and kick a goal. And that's exactly what we saw there. They're yeah, really important. The Fremantle halfbacks are starting to get right on top. Johnson and McFarlane in particular controlling their direct opponents, setting up the play. Pretty pumped about that. He's obviously one of those spiritual leaders of the footy club. He's doing a fantastic job defensively, but when he goes forward and kicks a goal, you know, that's really good for the Dockers. Well, the leaders changed with each of the last seven goals. And Fremantle right here, again equaling their biggest lead. Fife got it from Monday across the hill. They go forward, down towards half forward. Big leap main, wonderful judgment, Rance. Well, his colours last week. He's come back strongly tonight. The other player for Freo is Walters. He's getting up the ground and getting involved, and he's had five touches, but he's really clean with the football. White to Knights. <laughs> Hooks it down towards half forward. Clears the two big guys lurking behind his fife. That was clever. Sold a dummy in midair. Across half back. Taken by Subin. Breaking his Barlow. He's ignored. He goes straight down the middle. And what a wonderful kick to the ball. No margin for error on the kick. It was perfect. He goes across to Johnson. Johnson is looking long for Crowley. Miss Cues with a kick. It bounces inside the forward 50. And guess who? Walters invariably doesn't miss. But this one hits the post. Biggest lead of the night, though. Be optimistic. <laughs> Had more time than he was aware of. There was terrific use of the body there by 
the smaller player and, and uh, Walters. He's kicking at his third there. Fremantle up by three points. It could have been bigger. That's a terrific mark. Gotcha. Ball to go now. He looks okay. He's got some strapping on that right knee. Kicks towards the wing eye in front. Ibbotson. That was great courage there. He knew the traffic was coming. He stood tall. Mark, first game for the season. Gary Ibbotson. He goes out with Ben Cousins, younger sister Sophie. Ben, of course, 32 games for Richmond, 09 and 2010. He's with Farland. Dawson, Fremantle, the scoreline doesn't suggest it, but just working their way on top here for the moment. Neil, that's a very good kick to Subin. He could have gone, Greg right there, just held him up. He'll come back outside 50. And I reckon he might look to lay off here. Amazing they're not tipped. five goals in front, three minutes, 27 inside 50 to six since quarter time. Now comes around on the arc, he sends it long. That's a wonderful kick from outside 50. 3 0 lead by nine points. Well, I reckon he did look to lay off, and there was nothing to lay off to. Obviously, confidence low the last couple of weeks. That is a great way to get it back. Team needed it. And he delivered. It's been a contributor since coming on. Nick Subin, you got the sense he obviously got a bit of a rocket last week yeah. after being substituted off without an injury. Can, can got the, the footy, can he? Uh, lovely finish from 50. Favoured that uh, beautiful left foot leg. There's no doubt Richmond need to pull the trigger on the sub now. Their forward line, they're getting smashed across half back, half forward. They've got three tools. It's time to go small. I'd get Nahas onto the forward line now. As Baz said, a beautiful kick. Wonderful by Subin. Martin sends it down towards the attacking 50. It'll be repulsed here by McFarlane. Well, he's under pressure. Incorrect disposal. That was great chase by Edwards. He's a whipper. He's got the ball about 55 metres out. Not such a great kick, although McGuan could have almost got a free and the ball bounces out of bounds. They are dominating, obviously, the inside 50s here. You see the ta tackle from Edwards, but Richmond have been able to score when they've got it in there. Three goals from just the six entries since quarter time. Fremantle's biggest lead, up to nine points now. Griffin knocks it down. Cotchen over the football. Slides it out only as far as Subin emerging with the football at least initially was Monday kicked it about five meters Brig Ellis Knights going at his third pulls it back and that is a wonderful finish This is more like the Chris Knights who broke into Adelaide That was just hard work Fremantle couldn't clear the zone full credit to Richmond Cochin initially was in there, but they would not give those defenders any respite. And eventually they forced the error coming out. And this guy now was a very good finisher when he started his career. Melbourne boy, drafted by the Adelaide Pros, back in Melbourne now. Three goals. It certainly looked dangerous when they've got the ball deep into their forward line with him to kick from goal. It's that uh, centre square to half forward is where the roadblock has been for the majority of the night, but their efficiency has kept them in it. Chris Knights had never kicked a goal at Patterson's before this. Three goals now. This is his fourth game, and he's got 3-1, and he's been lively, very lively, up to 17 disposals. The long one towards Richmond's 50 again. Jackson it was with a clear got kick and that could be holding the ball. Umpire was with you, Lee. He didn't know who had it, so <laughs> bounce it. it is. He was looking for holding the ball. Yeah. I don't think there was anyone <laughs> particular though. It was about four of them holding it in. By Donlan throws it up. Well done by Marich. He got it down to White. He threw that out. So, Free kick for Fremantle. Back to Mundy. And his kick for Mazungu was well read. Very well read by the former skipper, Chris Newman. Richmond have lifted here the last five minutes or so. It's been the Tigers. McFarlane left his man. Spur waiting down. Next kick important. Good to Ibbotson, who hasn't oh, been the worst oh. for Fremantle tonight. Possession number 17. Oh. His kick, though, is terrible. And Deledio marks right on the 50. 
go to the open side here. Dustin Martin's calling on the far side of the inside 50. Well, Griffin's standing the mark, so he might fancy himself to get around Griffin. Well, he's going to kick it. 55 metres out. Sends it right to the goal line and beyond. No. Off the hands and beyond. Two points the difference. Familiar margin tonight. Three medals way. Dominating the game, but not on the scoreboard. And the Tigers are having a good 10 minutes right here. Everton inside the 50 then Newman did well white in trouble Newman in the opposite direction slaps it down towards the 50 well played by Johnson long arms now bring it away this is Pierce got it from Hill little chipping pass towards the wing five in the pin at the football <laughs> eventually lost his balance over the top of him didn't he uh, Jackson he actually had yeah. him cold if he could have held up timely reminder Bruce at the races tomorrow there goes the kick from Fife inside the forward 50 it's going to be a free kick to Maine advantage is paid in goes Ballantyne to kick his third and get that lead over a goal well that was generosity on the forward line Ballantyne cruising past it was going to be a free kick for the Dockers but they made sure of it against that man Alex Rance, 67 to 59. So Ballantyne and Walters, dangerous. So much of the ball in the last five minutes, the opposite end. It's suddenly like a rapier. We see that all the time where the one player virtually just forces the other player out of position that holding that throwing out very very minor but it's usually going to be paid that way so less than five minutes remaining in this third term game on a nice edge here for richmond you suspect they really need the next one eight points to margin nine the biggest lead of the game and that's a terrific mark by ellis the kick came in from monday see that was courage he went back he wrapped it up got the body around it jackson Asked to go by the umpire. He goes in the revolt direction. Third man up. That's no mark to spur. Falls to Grigg. He sends a high one towards the 50. Johnson read it well. Just again. It's, sorry, Baz. Again, it's the Fremantle oh, key defenders making the play when the ball comes in. Johnson not so focused on his direct opponent, but just goes where the ball's going. Clancy Pierce has been good tonight. 21 disposal. So has Ivertson. Up to number 19 now. Not the best of them there, but Mundy did it well. He had a bit of time. Now important here by Daniel Pierce. He was slow to get rid of the football. Excellent tackle. Well done from behind. And Helbig got him. Tigers will go forward. Gee, that was important. Drives it down towards half forward then. Jackson comes hard, fight across his bow, and the ball spills out of bounds. And sometimes you think the Richmond forwards are trying to play some ah. structural positioning forward of the ball rather than just watching the quick kick off their, uh, off their teammates boot in the middle of the pack. Little big off the ground then, straight away kicked oh, that one, and then headed through the interchange gates. And Nahas is on the ground. Here's Hill, just gobbing it across to Mazungu, draws a man, Ballantyne. Well, Decides to hold up. Not much up ahead, but that's a nice kick, or is it? No, it doesn't get to Maine, and now he's outnumbered. Vickery with dash across half back to Pettit. Pettit loops it over the top to Martin. Now he can run at them. Just through the interchange gates as Edwards didn't go to him. Kick inside the forward 50. Getting a fist in there was McFarlane. Well played. Crumbed again by Griffin. Geez, an adequate substitute, isn't he, for the Sandilands. This ball inside the centre square. Marich. Nahas. Immediate impact. Nahas. Sends it long down towards full forward. How will it bounce? Johnson didn't let it bounce. Side kicks it across the boundary line. Johnson improvising there. He's been good, Michael Johnson. Nine marks tonight. That one, well, I suppose they counted as a kick. But really, quick thinking, got that ball out of bounds for the Dockers. Has been good then. 14 disposals, you heard, nine marks. Third man up here, Dawson, he drifted across. He did that well. He's gained about well, 15 metres by the time Ellis got his hands to the ball and Ballantyne's tackle, it lingered way too long. Just relieved the pressure there on Richmond. Ballantyne's tackle a little careless. Batchelor back to Vickery. Cross half back now the Tigers. Fremantle's lead is eight points. 
headed with the footy. Not a lot to go to, so it's going to be a high ball inside 50. It's not a great kick. Dawson just waited for it. On the bounce to Hill, Nahas chasing. Here's Barlow, works it back to Spur. From half back, then a long kick. Rance got rid of his man. That was Walters. A mismatch there, and Rance can get things moving again for the Tigers. He's got Grimes. Held up by Grimes. Now goes to Ellis at the interchange gates. Short one. And Knights did well. Far and away his best game for the Tigers. You see the confidence starting to grow. Goes down the line. Edwards. Every week named at centre half forward in their side. I wonder who buys that. There's no Roy's heart as he kicks it down towards full forward. But he's a good small forward. Off hands taken by Mundy. Dawson, Mzungu under pressure, hard against the boundary line, thumps it wide. Oh, well played, Pettit. He's been okay. Hooley runs the boundary line, sends it back to a dangerous position. A couple of dockers up, three of them, in fact, against Marich. In trouble there, Rebolt, trying to get it across towards a teammate was Edwards. Chopped off again by Johnson. He's playing a stellar game. That was a wonderful mark. Bit of free about this play from Richmond at the moment. Really pressing up, holding the ball inside their 450. Uh, missed the target. Across the trouble. ground, the ball. Fast break is on, although wonderful tackle by Grimes. Gee, that was terrific. Might have saved the goal there, although Fremantle has still got numbers. Main to Ballantyne again. He goes backwards when really forwards was the order of the day. Eventually, though, five. Really good play there by Ballantyne. Looked out. He had someone wide on the wing, but it would have been 80 metres away. Had the composure, found the uncontested oh, part. Oh, on the lead to board, they've got numbers. Everywhere Fremantle Walters one of them Hill Mzungu with the others and they well it just broke down there for Richmond Lee. Yeah, they're just spreading a bit quicker, aren't they? Just watch Elbert just before he went to get subbed off and the little cheeky one on Pierce's finger might have known he was getting subbed and just wanted to make his mark. You're getting it's... picky now. <laughs> okay. So he's going to kick after the siren here. If he's got a personal battle going with Hayden Ballantyne, this will put him in front. Valentine three straight and Michael Walters two goals one tonight to give them a 14 point lead how valuable will that oh. be he just hasn't got the carry on it off hands and a behind and that will end the scoring for three quarter time he would have been totally flummoxed by that kick Walters and then I think pleased it did what it did it almost came back of course, he hit the post in that turn. Part of his 2-1. 10-8 Fremantle, Richmond 9-5. Again on Friday Night Football, we're delivering. We're set for a big finish. You better stick around. Dockers lead it by nine.